came back to Baltimore to pick up the last few things. I haven't slept in days. Weird dreams are back, but I can't tell mom. If I have to see one more useless doctor or take another stupid pill, I'm really gonna go insane. living here. At least in Hallwell, you'll have less people to fight with. And you won't have to move schools every year because there's only one. So, these are the last bits. Get the rest of this stuff, please. Okay, people, we have to get Dave's daughter before 10, so let's go. We're picking her up today. You promised you would welcome her, remember? Remember Michael and Molly? I'm not sure what's worse. Living in the middle of nowhere or starting a new life with Dave and Heather. I feel like I'm abandoning Dad. His spirit in a way. And Michael? Will he even remember him at all? Maybe mom's right. Maybe leaving the past behind is what everyone needs. Isn't it beautiful? Careful! My specimens are in that box. Okay. <laughs> Never moving again. Oh, that's the idea. Molly, you make room for other stuff? Yes, I did when you asked me yesterday. Want this bed? I really don't care. Great. TV's not working. Uh, I'll take Heather outside. Do you want to go outside? We can explore a bit. Okay, well, I'm going, so if you want to come, you can just.
Can you please fix it? you'd get an advance. That doesn't work that way. I've got to turn in a couple chapters first. Well, what are we going to do if they decide it's not? Mom, there's something strange about this place. Not what? I don't know. Not what they're looking for. Where's Heather? Um, I don't know. In the woods. You don't leave a child alone in the woods? You were supposed to look after her. I told you. I know. There's a ghost outside the house. There's no one out there. Okay, bedtime. It's probably just the wind. finally start painting tomorrow. Molly. And Dave's gonna write his book. We're gonna make some money and renovate this place. Maybe you'll even have your own room. Right. I want you to remember this, okay? Heather's been through a lot for a little girl her age. You know what it's like to lose a parent. You know how much you've struggled. It hasn't been easy for her either. I just, um, 
I just need you to be the big sister, okay? Mrs. Perkins, my first grade teacher. In memory of RM and MM, 1886. Hey, Molly, Mr. Simmons says the church was built in the 1800s. Great. Some of these graves are almost 200 years old. We have a neighbor. Susanna Berry, June 10th, 1832. Why is there a lamb there? For a child. He didn't have medicine back then. Measles, chicken pox, scarlet fever. That's what killed the children. Fires, too. Her mother died in a fire. What are you doing? Seriously, you guys shouldn't be messing with graves. Molly, you gotta see this. That's strange. What's strange? Possible to bury someone here. Why's that? Too many roots. ATH. Just initials. Those are my initials. Your initials are H-E-H? -E Come on, guys, let's go. Come on, your kid shouldn't be playing around here anyway. be a bunch of dead people buried in our backyard. Dave! What? We found a graveyard by the woods. I'm writing. Did you guys know? Well, did you? Mm, a lot of old churches had graveyards on their property. Seriously? Dead people? Imagine what quiet neighbors they'll be. What happens when people die? Does a part of you live forever? Or is it just like going to sleep and never waking up? Since dad, I think a lot about death. But it's strange when it's the death of a little girl. Where do you think her body is? Whose body? The dead girl. You know, the one in the graveyard. She has the same initials as me. H E H. Don't you think that's strange? No, it's probably just a coincidence. I don't think you should worry about it. My heart was pounding just at the thought. What if they'd been my initials? Hey! Molly! You wanna go to the store with me? Paper and pens are a writer's best friends. Thanks.
Hi. Good day. Would you have any carbon paper? Sure thing, sir. How many boxes would you like? Uh, three boxes, hundred sheets. Okay. Thank you. Living here is worse than I imagined. Mom and Dave aren't exactly your typical parents. As long as we turn up for meals and bedtime, they don't worry too much about us. Do you not see me sitting at my desk? Okay, we need to talk. I mean, it's possible, isn't it? Maybe like a, a, a cross signal? It, it could have been a voice on the radio. Probably. Not making this up. Do you want a sip? I'm not drinking that. Is that Dave's? There was a newspaper article about a missing girl at the store. And I asked the guy, and he said they never found her. Mom's right, you know. We should give this place a chance. I'm going to bed. Stop worrying about dead people.
You kids come straight home after school, all right? Thanks. So you've moved here from Baltimore to this 100-year-old church. Right. Yeah. And you're going to renovate it. So if I understand correctly, you are a writer? Yeah. What do you write? This fiction. Fiction. You know, just novels. Yeah. Right. And how's that going? Like good at in advance. You've received an advance. Okay, that's yeah. excellent. Yeah. to talk to anyone about anything when no one believes you. Am I hearing voices now like Dad? I saw a little girl in my dream. It's more than just visions now. I feel it, and it scares me. I feel like something is watching us out here. It seems to be everywhere, around the house, the woods, the wind. I think Heather feels it too. out of it. She probably just has an imaginary friend. No, I saw something. Okay, I'm not crazy. She was staring at it and then she turned and looked at me. As if whatever it was told her I was there. Molly, please. I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking I should have taken a bigger piece of pie. Look, I'm not making this up. And I'm not like Dad. I didn't say that. But you're thinking it. Maybe this. Oh. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Nothing. Dave should get you one of those collars with a bell on it.
What happened? I don't know. It sounds like she was just sleepwalking. Kids do that sometimes and they wake up, they have no idea where they are. What's going on? I've never seen her like this. Yeah, she was obviously sleepwalking. I tried to wake her up. What happened? Came in. She was talking to someone. Like, I turned and there was something outside. Oh, Jesus, did you put this idea in Heather's head? What? No! What is wrong with you, Molly? What does this have to do with me? I don't know. You tell me. Do you think it's normal to be up in the middle of the night with her? What were you doing, Molly? Stop! Just leave Heather alone. Back off! Leave her alone. She's a fragile kid. How would you know? You left her rotting in that stupid center for three years! No one believes me. It's always my fault. Hey, baby. Take your pills, okay? I love you, Tom. I'll leave them here in case you can't sleep. When we found this place, I thought it was going to be perfect. Maybe it would help us move on. Help you to move on. Mom, I really want to be alone right now. Please don't play with the brush. Thank you. Heather! Hello? Hey there, Mark. Yeah, it's going well. Yes, finally. I told you not to touch. You can look, but don't touch. How's it going? Any chance to read it? Okay. Molly, can you make sure she's okay? Fine. That's your job. Well, screw them. Find another publisher then.
keep it? Really? <laughs> Did your mom give it to you? talking to you, Molly. Do you know how much I paid for this thing you just had to have? Well, you can have it, because I don't want it anymore. Hey, I'm not finished. What? What is wrong with you? Look, I hate this place, all right? I don't want to live here. I hate her, I hate him, and I hate you for forcing us to live with them. I want to go back to Baltimore. How was everybody's day? There's ruins of a house deep in the woods. A house? Yeah, next to a river. The place looks like it's about to collapse. Hmm. I really don't think Heather should be playing down there. Heather? Why would Heather be playing now? Oh, she found it. How about you, uh, you girls stick around the church? Yeah, I agree with that. I could go check it out, make sure it's safe. Uh-uh. That's not gonna happen. It's not dangerous. It's pretty. I, I don't want you playing by the river. Why don't you show them that nice locket you found there? Let's see it. Let's have a look. Do you know they used to keep old photos inside, locks of hair? I hate you. What are you doing here? Get out! Because of you, she might never come back. She's very mad you followed us. talking about? Helen. Who's Helen? Heather, who's Helen? You know who Helen is. Tell me what she says to you. What does she want? Leave us alone.
where the wind blew in. Does Helen have something to do with the missing girls? It was only a matter of time. You would sense something. I knew the second I saw you. You knew what? That you were special. You have the gift, like my late wife Rose. She claimed that there are two kinds of people in this world. One kind who would walk into a place and see it for what it is. That used to be me. <laughs> and the other who would sense something that the first group is unaware of. Sometimes they would sense something joyful. But most times they would sense something painful. Like a deep sadness. Like Helen's spirit. Rose used to call it the unresolved. It was as if uh, an old energy from the place would connect with something within her. It would draw her in. I used to think she was crazy, talking to ghosts, helping people with that gift of hers. She sure meant well. What happened to her? Sometimes it could turn into such silly games. Forbidden games. I think there's a reason why I see her. Like, like I'm supposed to do something. And be very careful. I don't want you to end up missing. There. No, look, I'm not making this up. It said, leave us alone right in the mirror. Michael, come. This is getting ridiculous, Molly.
Have you considered that this might all be in your head? What's that supposed to mean? Delusions, nightmares. It wouldn't be what they were if they didn't seem real. Sometimes our mind plays tricks on us. We see what we want to see. Maybe you're obsessed with death because dad killed himself. He was sick. You're not. You were too young. That's why you don't care. I never said I didn't care. I just won't allow him to poison the rest of my life. Whoa. That's where I saw the ghost. I'll be right back. Hey, wait! Don't go in there! I just wanted you to see it! I'm staying right here. You should come back. Wow. Michael Summers, fall, 1982. Exploring some uh, mysterious ruins. And crossing the threshold. Looks like some teenagers from Hallwell came down here. Maybe bums. But alas, no ghosts. What are you doing? I thought I heard something. What do you mean you heard something? Heard what? Wait. Michael. Be careful. What is this? Please get out of there. Michael! What is it? Look at the initials. The same as on the stone in the graveyard. Helen, this is where she lived. Heather said her name was Helen. Here, H E H. H doesn't mean her name was Helen. Your dress. I don't have any nice dresses. Can I go with you? Well, sometimes she sleeps on the couch. She won't see us. We could go tonight.
How did this happen? She locked me in. Can I help you? We're looking for Hallwell ancestries. I did find something else that might be helpful. Um, you just see now. According to this, the house burned down about a hundred years ago. And uh, this is a picture of the house before it burned. Does it look familiar? Yeah, like the, the house you think? It kind of looks mm -hmm. like it. Right. Oh, and here's a picture of the owners. This would be Mr. and Mrs. Miller. You see, the last name is Miller. And this one, Mabel. Robert and Mabel's girl, Helen, taken in June 1886 at Harper House. The estate belonged to Mr. and Mrs. Harper. Mr. Harper passed away, and shortly afterward, Mrs. Harper married Mr. Robert Miller. Then the girl's name was Helen Harper. Yes, Helen Elizabeth Harper. Fire the Harper House. The bodies of Helen, Mabel, and Robert Miller were never found. They must have burned to ashes. Poor things. Thank you. Where are you going? What's, what's wrong? Wow, H-E-H. The girl in the picture. That's her. That's the girl I saw in my dream. I told you Heather knew her name was Helen. There must be an explanation other than she's talking to ghosts. I told Mom I'd beat them in town. I'll see you later. What happened to Helen? Why is she still here? What if she lured these girls because she didn't want to be alone? Where does she take them?
here. Go back to the car and lock the doors. Molly! Molly! Who did? She's not well, Jean. You just don't see it, do you? You and Molly Summers' parents? So I uh, took her back to the station and she didn't say much. Except uh, she didn't want to come back here. She seemed upset. Is everything all right? Yes, it's fine. Obviously, we got broken into, so. Yeah, well, um. We don't get break-ins here. Okay, officer, what's that supposed to mean? I don't get it. No, no, that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll pick her up. Get out. Now! He's ruined. All of it. Mother said your sister had uh, some pretty intense panic attacks. Even hallucinations after your father died. Did you ever do anything like this? She would never touch my stuff. I think there's something going on in this house. None of us are willing to see it. Okay. Get this place cleaned up. I'm tired, Molly. I'm so tired of all of this. I didn't do it. Then who did? You think I'm like that? You. You're not like your father. 
You are nothing like your father. Do you understand that? Why don't you ever talk about him? About what happened? Because I don't want Michael to know. He knows, Mom. I never stopped loving him through all his delusions. Michael was so young. And I didn't want him to have to carry it around. And I wish you didn't have to either. Some rest. Dad?
you could still save her.
Heather, please breathe. Heather, no. Heather, no. Heather, don't do this to me. Heather, please breathe. Wake up, Heather. Heather, come on, get up. Please, you can do it. Come on. Oh my God. Oh, Heather. Oh my God. Heather. Heather, I don't understand. I want to go with her. What are you talking about? I don't want to be alone anymore. I don't want to be here. She's the only one who cares. When my dad finds out what I did, he's gonna set me back. Heather, what happened? It was an accident. I was trying to cook for her. I thought the fire would stop, but it didn't. I was so scared. I just ran. The house burned down. She never came out. Her parents are dead. She's alone. That's why she understands me. She never meant to hurt her parents either. We need to help her if we want her to stop. It's somewhere here. We gotta find it. I think Helen's parents are trapped in here. We have to set them free! Come on! Come on, push harder! Over there! Here, underneath! It was locked! Help me! Careful! Wait here until I see what's down there. parents. Their spirits must have been trapped down here since the fire.
happening. Come on, Molly. We need to get out. Thank you.